informal day of notes, and I want to um, point that out to you. So we have a lot of equivalents in English um, to Spanish, like we learned the mente with is our equivalent to ly, um, and you know if you add an ero to the end of things, like a vaca is a cow, and a vaquero is the person that deals with a cow, like a cowboy. Um, Zapato is the word for shoe, and if you add ia at the end of things, like a zapateria is a shoe store, or a cafeteria has the cafe, or like a coffee shop. Um, another, what do you call them, suffix that we can add to words are the, these esimo endings. Um, these are a type of emphasis that you can put on adjectives. So remember, all adjectives in Spanish have to agree in gender and number. And so that's what sort of sets these apart with other suffixes that we've talked about, because like mente, it's always just been mente, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, so if you want to say that something is super this or that, like very, um, very good, very, very bad, it's extremely tasty, it's... Uh, I don't know, the dog is extremely ugly. You can add isimo, isima, isimos, or isimas to the end of any adjective, um, and it will show that extremeness. So, for example, bello is beautiful. Este cocina es bellísima. So you drop off the O ending, and you add the isimo, but you got to make sure whatever you're describing agrees in gender and number. So, bellissima. Um, the consonants, cargarzar type from you know Spanish too. We talked about how C's have to change to Q's, G to G, U, Z to C to maintain that original sound of the verb. Um, we have to do the same with adjectives that have C's or G's in them. For example, rico has a C. If I added uh, the isimo to the end of rico without changing it, it would be risisimo. It would make that C soft, so you have to change the C to a Q-U. Uh, riquisimo. So if you had um, los sandwiches son, and you want to say very rich and tasty, you would say riquisimos because it's sandwiches. Um, largo, maybe the line is super, super long at the store. Oh, la cola es, está larguísima, larguísima, okay? Um, or feliz has a Z. The Z has to become a C. Remember, it's a little bit harder to sell uh, when it comes to saying you got to maintain the original sound, but you just got to know Z's change to C's. So, felicimo. So, if you are super, or super, super happy, felicimo, or yo estoy felicima. Um, I, so, Ben and Joe, for some reason, they're, they like to change Spanish name every year. And so, they have a zapato. They wanted to be right shoe and left, suit, left shoe. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And then they changed it to zapatissimo and zapatito. Because, you know, we add ito to the end of things. It makes it small. So... Bin is zapatissimo, like the biggest shoe. It's totally um, made up word because we don't really just say zapato grande. But they had fun playing with this isimo superlative or um, the itos making things small. So that's what they are in class. That's what they call Zapatissimo and zapatito. Um, so vamos a describir en actividad cinco. Practicamos en las mesas. Actividad cinco. Aquí. Uh, aquí es una sopa de cebolla. ¿Ustedes les gusta sopa, sopa de cebolla? French onion soup? Oh, I'm Kenzie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure thing. I'm right back. Whenever he gets here, I haven't seen him yet. So, okay. Bye. Probably has to go back to the office. He's, she has another order for him. Bye. Okay. Um, esta sopa de cebolla está buenísima. ¿A ustedes les gusta, uh, uh, les gusta la sopa de cebolla? French onion no. soup. No te gusta. So you probably would not say está buenísima. You could say es malísima. Nastísima. Sí, sí, qué asco. A mí me encanta. 
Sí, me encanta sopa de cebolla. Sí. Uh, bueno, entonces, vamos a describir las comidas aquí en los, las fotos. Uh, un momento más pequeño. Aquí. Hacemos número uno juntos. Uh, las fresas. ¿Cómo describe las fresas? ¿Cómo describe? Las fresas están. Why are we using Why are we use the verb estar here? Why are we not using the verb ser? Can, it's not determinate. Right, because you'll have to leave the fruit out for two weeks. They're going to go bad, and they're not going to be super sweet or rich or tasty. They can go from sour if they're not ripe to super sweet. So, las fresas. In la foto, how would you describe those? Um, las fresas. Estas fresas están... En tu opinión, ¿qué es? Are they fresh? Are they sweet? Las fresas son... Dulce? Okay. She dropped that vowel off. With dulce, it already has a soft C. Would you have to change it to a Q? -U? Would we say dulquisima? Dulcísimas or dulcísimas? Dulcísimas. You go with what sounds right. Dulcísimas. When you add the, I didn't mention this, when you add the isimo part or isimas, you need to accent. Did I say that? You need to put an accent on that first vowel. So numero uno, let's call them let's call them sweet. We would say las fresas or estas fresas, these strawberries están. We have dual say. We have to drop off that vowel and add isimo. But it's fresas, so we say dulcis. Oops, dulcimas. Dulcisimas. Uh, you have to pretend that it's an accent because my keyboard is all messed up. Dulcisimas. Dulcisimas with an accent after the C on that first I. Las fresas están dulcisimas. Okay, practican al resto. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, and las fresas. In tu opinion. Dos es una ensalada. Uh, when you say these, um, like strawberries, for example, remember when you, if you have este, esta, estos, or estas. So make sure that agrees with whatever you're talking about. So it'd be esta ensalada, but these are estas fresas. We have papas fritas. Oh, this is a tortilla de patata, remember that? Espinacas, mostaza, they're all feminine. So pay attention to the singular plural. Well, you're just, these are what you call them as a demonstrative adjective. So it's este or esta, estos or estas, these, this or these. Last year in oh, Spanish yes. too, it's said this and those right there and those way over there, just okay. pointing them out. So este, esta, estos or estas. In this, this case, they are all feminine, so you're going to say esta or estas. These strawberries are super sweet. Dulcísimas. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, because um, Fresco has the hard C sound, so you uh, that C O rather make it to C. Um, Salyudamine. So then you drop off the E, so you double A, drop off the E and add E C more. Cinco es espinacas. Estas papas. See, so you would say estas papas fritas, these french fries. You don't even need the last because you're saying these fries, not these That's papas. Really? Mm -hmm. See? So would you drop off the I too or leave the I? Leave the I. Agri. Hmm, that's a good question. Agris. Maybe you would drop off the I O. Agrisimo. See, it wouldn't make sense to have two I's in a row. So I would have to say, drop off the I-O on agrio. The agrisima. Si. At this point, you just kind of start learning what sounds right. Wow. Did you just do this? Um, what did you say? Molly. Molly. Mm -hmm. Molly, Simo, and Molly, Simo. What is four? Cuatro es mostaza. Lechuga or espinacas? I think that's espinacas. Las espinacas. Is that espinacas? Espinacas? Sí. But you're using adding C's instead of S's. Okay. So salad D C mas. What is a bobble C C mas? Oh slimy. Ooh, that's a new word for me. Baboso. I kinda like that word. Baboso. You can use that for people. Or See. Oh, see, the, that's a good way to remember it. Just take out the O. Oh, the, the pirate, Barbosa. Right? Barbosa. Barbosissima. Barbosa is feminine. Barbosa. See, yeah, the adjective. So then you can just add the the No, that's one S. You just add the. Isimo ending to agrio, but you drop off the I and the O. Agrisimo. Is that not such a good song? Is it? Got your notes? Yes. I wonder if there's a way to do it. Um, 
Okay. Por favor, dime. ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde está? ¿Cómo describe la ensalada? Ok, ¿cómo describe la ensalada? Pablo, ¿cómo es la ensalada? Está ensalada, está saludablísima. Oh, saludablísima. Saludable become saludablísima. Sí. ¿Cómo es la ensalada? Diego, la ensalada. Uh, está ensalada, está saludísima. Saludísima también. Ensalada, saludísima. Muy bien. Las papas fritas. Ricarda, ¿cómo es la, las papas fritas? Saladísima. Oh, sí. So now we're not saying saludable. Now we're just saying salado. Saladísima. Excelente. Las papas fritas están saladísimas. No me gustan las papas fritas saladísimas. Chola, uh, no Chola. Carmela, ¿cómo están las papas fritas? Um, buenísimas. Buenísimas, excelente. La mostaza. Mariana, ¿cómo, es la ma uh, ¿cómo está la uh, mostaza? Malísima. Está malísima. Uh, no te gusta. Yeah. No. Uh, Oh, I accidentally forgot to mark rice cap. Absent. Um, Chola, ¿cómo están las espinacas? Um, sabrosísimas. Sabrosísima. Excelente. Uh, so, sí, sí, más. Las espinacas están sabrosísimas. Y número... Uh, oh, y Luna también. ¿Cómo... ¿Dónde está Luna? ¿Cómo están las espinacas? No, so, son malísimas, están mal, malísimas. Y número 6, la tortilla de patata. Uh, Salvador, ¿cómo está? Es du está dulcísima, sí. Bueno, ok, uh, es todo por hoy. <coughs> no tengo nada más.